Hello everybody, my name is Mayor Of and welcome to my city. SimCity for iOS, SimCity Build It has come out and we are going to be playing it today to be having a look, having some fun, creating our own amazing city and maybe also terrorizing it just that little bit. So SimCity Build It is out for iOS and Android. If you want to play it guys, the link are in the description down below, completely free to play, which is awesome. Let's get into it. So, welcome to Othertron. Yeah, I call my place Ovatron. That is what I'm calling it. It sounds kind of like a transformer, uh, but I thought it was a really cool name. Imagine going into a city and you see signs for Ovatron. It might look like Ovatron, but Ovatron sounds cool. So anyway, welcome to Ovatron. At the moment, we are a small settlement, but we are thriving. You can see cars are tearing up and down our highways and crashing into each other as they go into whatever this place is, which is a supply store. Um, I might as well build some supplies. There we go. Uh, so, what have I got in my city? What is going on here? Uh, you can see that we've got a small factory. We've got some residential houses all around. These guys need nails to build up their residential zones. These guys need nails as well. Basically, everywhere needs kind of nails to start building. Uh, but we've got loads of things we can get started. I'm currently doing renewable energy. So, I've got a wind turbine right here. Or a wind power plant even. And then this is my basic waterworks. Uh, this is a new, look at this, I just built this. This, oh, a factory near my home, why? Because we need to make money, that's why you've got a factory near your home. Welcome to Morning Sun Apartments. That's where the best people live in my place at the moment. And this here is a smaller house, uh, which just had some few, few people there. And this is where I live. Look at that town hall there, wait. There we go, that thing there is me. That is where I live, in my huge town hall in the center here. You've got more residential zone. I also have this very attractive assistant, uh, as you can see. Her name is, is Juliet. Yeah, I don't know, is that a pretty name? Juliet, let's just call her Juliet. Uh, she is my assistant and she's telling me to build more homes. So I'll do exactly what she says. Let's upgrade this. So the whole point in SimCity Build It is to create a thriving big settlement. We have a city right next to us called Daniel City. And this guy basically shows off. Let's go have a look at his city and see what is a possibility for us to build. Uh, yeah, look at this. This guy has got it down. This is a city and a half. This is like, uh, it's a really weird city to be totally honest because it's got residentials right next to it. Uh, but it's huge, it's beautiful, it's thriving, and he, he kind of just comes into my city and shows off. He's like, oh, I have amazing stuff for sale, uh, which is annoying. But, you know, one day my city hopefully will come and have war with him and we'll take him over. That is my plans, anyway. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's kind of the plan, is to build a city like that. Now, personally, from how I like to play the game, I like to... Oh, we did it. Yay, look at that. They're even... Fireworks are not permitted in my city, John. I'm going to have to get you away. Oh my god, everyone's complaining about these factories. Um, so basically, oh no, I need some iron. We have stuff like this, which is where my small factory is. So this is where you build stuff. So we want to build as much iron as possible. It takes a minute to build iron, uh, but we can skip it with this SimCity cache, or Sim cache, or whatever it's called. Uh, so we can put them in and kind of just skip forward a little bit. And there we go. Let's get that going and we'll get a couple more going. And we can now start upgrading. Even at night time, our sims do not stop, guys. They do not stop. So we've got more homes that we can build. We've got two more residential zones. Uh, so we kind of want to keep it as good as we can. Uh, but it's pretty small. I wonder if we can upgrade the roads. Can we buy... We can. Okay. Uh, every bustling city. So we need to build some more roads. And you build the roads by drawing with your finger like so. I didn't mean to do that there. Uh, where shall we put roads? Let's go up kind of here. And then we can go like... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. No. Okay, right. I'm getting used to the controls. How do I, how do I control it across? Um, is it two fingers to pan? I'm not sure. Uh, but we want to build our roads up here and across. There we go. And also, I want to build it kind of across here. But I think I'll have to do that separately. So there we go. We built those roads. And now we want to build across like that. Beautiful. Look at this. We've got some iron as well. Oh, yeah. That got done. So we need some more iron. And we can build our city and just get it bustling and get the roads. Now, I don't know what the speed limit is on these roads. Uh, I think we're just going to go national speed limit, but I have seen some people like storming storming through so there we go The roads have been built that looks pretty awesome, and we can now start building up uh, better places So we can build you so we can upgrade you we can't upgrade this person. this person wants nails 
Uh, but I can buy nails with iron, so now we should be able to upgrade him. Oh no, we should be very soon. The, the nails are nearly done. Everybody's waiting for nails. They're nearly done. Okay, so we can continue building our residential homes. Let's build those up there. So this is going to be like the residential zone, more at the back of the city. Uh, down at this side, like where we are, is going to be probably more the town hall. Maybe where I build all my factories to make my millions of sim dollars, uh, or whatever they're called. And we now need wood. Um, oh, please stop complaining about the factory. I'm doing the, I'm doing the best I can. Uh, let's upgrade these and let's get those. All right, so we're now going to be able to upgrade the houses that we just looked at, and hopefully once we upgrade them. They are going to look amazing. So that one there can already be upgraded. Let's have a look. This is going to look insane. I don't know how long it's going to take for it to upgrade. But we've got... Look at them. Look at those cranes going. That is produ productivity. Uh, I know I've got more residential zones. I'm building it. So they, they all need nails. There we go. We finally got one nail. Uh, we could probably do with some more nails, to be totally honest. There we go. Let's build a load of nails. Uh, and that's it, because we now need to get more iron. So it's actually quite... You've got to keep on going, like, at the beginning of the game. You've really got to push it uh, to build stuff. And you've really got it. You want to build your settlement. You want to get it a good size. And then you can start doing some kind of cool stuff to it. You can make it uh, a really big city. Or you can kind of give up on it and, and really have fun with it and build a ridiculous city of your dreams. But at the moment, we're just trying to build up our houses. Look at that! Yes, building unlocked modern art. We've unlocked a uh, sorry grim tower, but we've unlocked modern t uh, buildings if we want them. We've also got some new zones. It looks like. What do we get? I swear it just said I unlocked a park. Did I unlock a park? What's this? Uh, everybody has. Okay, so this is how the water works. Uh, you can get up to nine houses on one water tower. But I've only got demand for seven, so we're fine there. Once you get more than nine, you're going to have to build, like, two of them. And you can see my builder down there. I don't know what he's so upset about. Uh, but then you've also got to think about your power as well, which is this here. So it's the wind power plant. And that builds... Um, so that's that's currently under strain because the cap capacity... Cap ugh, capacity... <laughs> Capacity? Capacity is six and the demand is seven. So I should really build another plant. Now I can either build a coal plant, but look at the smog and you know you just know all your people are gonna get so upset with you. So instead I'm gonna build a wind. Am I gonna build a wind? Should I build a wind? I don't know. That's a factory. Where's that gone? Oh, do I build a wind? Wind is more expensive and it does less people, but it doesn't dirty up the air and as you can see my population at the moment are kind of a kind of a frowny happy face so i'm gonna build wind uh that sounds kind of wrong uh i'm gonna get wind and there we go we've now got a capacity of 12 and that should bring the happiness up a little bit maybe not it doesn't look like it's going to uh what can i do to make my sims happy uh we could probably build like can we build a park or anything there we go so we can build a park this is gonna get my sims happy happy Sometimes sims need a break from the busy city life. Parks increase happiness for homes and boost population. So basically everybody gets horny as well, uh, which is always good for us. So we can have a small foundation, uh, fountain park, we can have a modern art park, or we can have a plumbob park. And I'm not going to lie, I'm getting a plumbob park because that sounds cool. And we can put that right in there, which will increase the happiness for a load of the uh, sims around us. Uh, that costs 140 sims cash. Or let's just see what else we can get before we, like, spend all our money. Uh, we need more iron for that. Iron! Give us, or just metal even, not just iron. Uh, so how much does this park? This park costs 5,000 gold. This park costs 4,000 gold. But this has a bigger population boost. Uh, but a smaller radius, funny enough. So we're going to build that there. Because that's a pretty good place for it. So that should increase happiness around the city a little bit. And then next to that, we'll also make another one like that. And that should really boost population happiness. And we'll make a third park. We're going park crazy <laughs> like that. And that hopefully will see everybody boost in happiness and population, which will be cool. Man, did you see those blue bars rising when placing that building? Those means that population is growing, which is always good for us. 
So there we have it, guys, for the first episode of Sin City Build It. I hope you enjoyed it. Links are down below if you want to download and play this game. Uh, it's completely free on the iOS and Android store. Now, I want to, my plans is to build a huge city and then do some really fun, weird stuff with it. So if you want to see that, hit the like button down below. Let's see if we can get this over 1,000 or 1,500 likes would be amazing. And comment what you want me to do with Ovatron, the city of the future. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.